Hello, unsurprised tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 3 It's a Trap Edition with me, Blue Ankylo. So, uh, at the end of last- well, last episode we went to Flagard. Yes, that's the name of Flagard, the city. And, uh, most of the people were hiding, but we eventually found a way into the castle via sneakery. And, um, we did recruit a new unit, but we're not bringing him with us yet. We'll do that in later. Uh, just to show him off. Um, but of course, we went in here to talk to, uh, Symbios' father, Conrad, who, uh, seems to be doing, you know, okay. But, uh, it was a trap, and we all knew it was coming, but there it is. Now, I'm just gonna spoil one more thing for you. Uh, if you want, uh, another good thing to happen, I need that key from Fial. Uh, it's rather important for, uh, somebody else. It's not even important in Scenario 1, but I really would like that key, and there's kind of a limited opportunity to get it in this battle. So, even though Fial looks particularly scary, uh, Symbiose is going to have to go do that. So that'll be fun. That'll be exciting. So anyway, let's start moving people forward. you got to rush to his rescue as best we can. Because they're coming for him. To be honest, uh, this might not work my first time through. Uh, this one might be kind of like the Irene battle where if you do something wrong on the first turn, you just die. So be prepared. That might be something that's happening. The trick will be what I do with Symbios, really. Um, you could run him back into safety, which would be the smart thing to do. Um... I'm pretty sure by now most of your units are supposed to be promoted, so we don't have that going for us. But if I run... No, I can't even hit him from here. Ooh. I thought I could just hit him over the table with uh, the knife. Maybe we should hold it for a little while. I, I don't know how long I've got is the problem. I think if I wait too long, I'll have to aggress and try this fight again. And I'm going to put a save state here just in case even that's not good enough. And we have to revert to this turn, specifically on our first try. But for now, let's play it a little bit smarter than sacrificing Symbios. And uh, let's try to kill some skeletons and all that. I feel like I should try to keep the staircase open here if I can, so they don't block this path up. These stairs are really bugging me. We cannot climb them very well. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna throw a support spell in here. This will give everyone in the back row, you know, some defense and some agility. So they'll go a little bit earlier and I might be able to rush them forward a little bit better. Actually, to be honest, I kind of wanted Grace to run away anyway, once she uh, got to level 20. So if I get her promoted, I might just aggress out anyway. If I get her leveled up, you know. Alright, new level, uh, new round. We're gonna open with just a normal freeze. It doesn't do quite as much damage, but, uh... I need to save some MP. Alright, Irene... I don't know... How much damage this will do, but I think we're gonna open with a tornado. It probably won't do much, but it should help a little. You know, nine damage to two enemies, it's uh that's okay. It's, it's not, it's nothing amazing, but uh, and Sin and uh Maskrin couldn't have made it there anyway. Um How do I do this with Masquerade? I think I'm gonna blow some MP here to try to finish off this Bloodborne. Because she's beside uh, Noon, maybe we'll do 26? No, not nearly enough. I was just hoping maybe we'd, we'd be really overpowered there. It looks like the Masked Monks are gonna be a little bit defensive, which is good because I think they're pretty tough. Um, yeah, they've got a lot of attack power compared to the old days. 
So that's something to worry about. Uh, okay, so Eldar you should be able to do five damage here. Good. At least that's one angle covered. Ratchet. Ah, da, da, da. Attack the Hydra. Let's put Ratchet in here to save Irene a little bit. And we'll just start punching this Hellhound with the Anchor. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I still love that attack. Ratchet is definitely growing on me. Alright, so the Bloodborne do get their turns. I'm glad I killed one of them before he got in action. That one went for Irene, but that's okay. Yeah, I figured she could take a hit. And I used Ratchet to block the other entrance up. Um, so the Bloodborne have both had their turn. Priority now is to start killing Hyenas and uh, Hydras. Or not Hyenas, you know, Hellhounds, whatever it's called. So now that Hellhound doesn't even get an attack. That one didn't get an attack. Haywards. So probably... Probably want to focus on the Hydra next. And we can conveniently shoot him through this pillar. Because we can bend our arrows around it. Which is pretty awesome. Makes more sense than shooting through walls. Uh, so Grace can't get close enough to heal, really. I could use a heal level 3, but that would be... That'd be pretty expensive. Could send Symbios up there, start fighting, but I think we're gonna wait one more round. Hopefully that's not too long. I kind of like how they crumple into bones when you hit them. I think mean, that's pretty fun. Alright, we can send Obright all the way over here. Sure. Just make sure you kill the Hydra, that's what counts. That's right, good job, Obright. Blocks off uh, Maskrin from the uh, Hellhound. Now, this Hydra hasn't attacked yet. It'll probably go pretty soon. 13, it's got what? 11 or 12? 10. Still, I don't think I've got very many more attacks left. So I think what we do is we start trying to kill uh, some of these Bloodborne. Hoping for uh, for a special again, but no luck. I'm not gonna worry about horse getting the kill. I just want him to do good damage here. Let someone else finish it off. I'm pretty sure Dantres can take one hit here. Ah, he can even take two. Good for you. All right, so now, noon, let's start cleaning this up. Um, how quickly do the skeletons? The skeletons are pretty quick. 17 agility. I think I'll let uh, Maskrin kill one of them. And then um, noon will just weaken this hellhound a bit. Or, you know, nearly kill in one shot. All right, so priorities for healing. How's Symbios doing here? Oh, he's fine for now. Let's heal up Don Torres. This keeps Irene safe so that I don't have to worry about healing her right now. All right, lots of masked monks up there. Okay, so Maskrin. you here. She could kill them both, right? They're both pretty low. She could definitely kill them both very easily. You know what? Why not? It's only 5 MP. It gets them out of the way, so I don't have to worry about, you know, criticals. I think I haven't seen a critical from a Bloodborne yet, but I'm pretty sure they can do them. And why have an AoE mage if you never use her? Ah, uh, we don't need that. Alright, Ratchet. 
Let's block this route up. Just in case those other Bloodborne hop down. Good solid damage from Ratchet. I like it. <sighs> those guys could cause some problems. Yeah, so you're coming at Ratchet. That's fine. But we've got them kind of blocked into the corner. Maybe it's not crit. Maybe they just get paralyzed like that. That's that's possible too. All right, Don Torres. Got to keep working on this Hydra, basically. Eldar. Oh, I could. Yeah. Probably kill the Hellhound. The Masked Monks all had their turn already, so, uh... Yeah, we're gonna try this. We're gonna need to put someone in front of Eldar or beside her to protect her, though. Unless she gets a whole bunch of defense right now. You know, one. Alright, uh... I think Hayward... Priority is... Finish off the Hydra. Yeah. Everything's going great, except, you know, we're not doing any damage to the boss. Um, so who needs heals right now? Anybody? Irene? Anybody else? Oops. No, no, no. Not right now. Um, I guess Sinbios could use a bit of healing. Irene, eventually. Ratchet got hit too. Oh yeah, Ratchet's hurt. Can't really get there. Alright, we're gonna go with heal level 2 on... You know, I could do another boost here. And then I could send uh, Sinbios up with higher defense. Not gonna do that. That's silly. Make sure he's at full HP. Okay, so masked monks. Now they use swords, which is kind of bad news for Obright. But if I put him here, if I put, if I have time to put someone on each side of him. We can kind of block them in a bit, and that would actually be pretty good for us. And this is all assuming I can get two more people beside him with the defense boost, though. Like Sinbios. I'm gonna try to be brave. Be brave for me, Sinbios. No, this seems like a really bad idea. I I may have just gotten Symbios killed there, to be honest. Well, we've blocked off. This was basically my plan over here to block off this route in. Once I get Eldar out of the way, we can probably start AoEing them with magic, but that won't do much right now. Can't hit the skeleton with it either right now. I think we'll heal Ratchet. There you go, Irene. Of course, that blocks up the spell placement there, but um, we're not doing much magic right now. So, what are these guys gonna do? How tough are they? Oh, they're bad. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna work. If they gang up on Symbios, he's pretty much toast. So weapon advantage, but he does get the defense boost from uh, 
Well, I think Cinebios is dead. Dang it! So I'm not sure how I'm actually gonna make it to, uh... Fial. Yeah, he's dead. That's That'll teach me. Shoot. I... Yeah, I'm gonna have to reload. Well, we're gonna be... Is this the end? Oh, you got to hear the Cinebios dying. And when you die, you get sent back and you lose half your money, so, like, that's really not good. The thing is, I know I need to hit this guy, I think it's just once. He's not gonna stick around forever. My strategy was fine until, uh... Until I moved... I should have saved it before I moved Cinebios off, that was kind of silly, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna put a cut in the video here, halfway through this episode. And I'm gonna get back to the same part, where we've sort of secured the central area. And I... I have to find a way to damage... Like, we have to be quick. I don't know how many turns we have, but we have to damage Fial. And I think moving up like this would just get Symbios killed on the first turn. Anyway, I'll be back in a few, few minutes of my time, and you guys won't have much of a break, so I'll see you in a second. Welcome, folks. So, uh... <laughs> it didn't work. I tried a couple times. Fial always escapes before I can make it anywhere near him. So I'm pretty sure what I'm going to have to do at this point is, um... I'm going to have to do my promotion stuff. I'm going to have to get to level... Well, as high a level as I'm going to do, which I'm pretty sure we're going to get to 17. And then I'm going to promote people, and I might need to get a few level ups after that for Sinbios to be strong enough. Like, I think once he's promoted, I can give him the white ring, and he probably will just take one damage every time. Like, he'll have, uh... Let's see, the White Ring will give him six more defense than the Life Ring, so that puts him at 30. With a, with a couple more level ups, a promotion, a few more good level ups from the promotion, I could see him having 35 to 40 defense, at which point he won't really take very much damage from them at all. So, uh, that's kind of the plan. For now, though, um, I did get Grace to level 20, which really shouldn't be a surprise. So the very first of the promotion party... Grace, it's Priest to Cleric at level 20. And in case you were wondering, level 20 also got zero stats and no spells. So level 17 is seriously as high as you should bother with. Unless there's a spell at 18, 19, or 20, which there wasn't for Grace, it did nothing. It was just a waste of time. So, unlike the very first Shining Force on the Sega Genesis, where you actually lost stats when you promoted, you gain stats when you promote this time. So it's all good. And then level ups after this are also better. Also, we can equip better weapons now. So, um, that's cool. Now, super, super duper spoiler, there is another promotion for all your characters after that. It's a long way off, but after Grace's Cleric, there is another promotion for her one day. It just isn't going to happen for a while. Uh, one other thing is when you promote, you should be getting a boost to your magic if you're a magician, so her affinities with light magic should have gone up a little bit, and some of her resistances may have increased. That's kind of common to get more resistances and more, um, uh, more magic damage or healing power, basically. Uh, other than that, also, of course, her weapon rank can now go to level 3. It will take a while, but I can eventually get her to Ankh level 3. And nothing really changes with support or anything, so that's the same old. Okay, well, I'm going to put another cut in here, and I'll probably come back with everybody at level 17, assuming it's not too hard. Uh, it, sh it shouldn't take too long to get to 16 or 17. And then we'll do another promotion party. Well, actually, first, before I wrap this one up, in fact, I might just end the episode, honestly. Let me go back. I haven't saved it yet for a specific reason. I need to see for sure if Fial and that key is still there. Because if it's not, I'm really screwed. Um, where was the door? This one. So, um, like, I, I'm just not strong enough to send Symbios after that key right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to promote him and level him up a bit. So there's just, this is, we've hit our end point. If I want to get all the, all the optional stuff, I have to have a promoted strong Symbios at this level. So the battle starts immediately, it's a trap again. And Fial is here, every time you reach like he leaves really quickly. Like last time when Sinbios died, I actually bet one more turn and Fial would have just teleported out anyway. Um, I didn't even have, like on the last the last time I tried it, I didn't even kill all of the monsters I killed on the first go before Fial had left. So um, you pretty much have to go right away and then run away after you take a couple hits from the monks and stuff. 
there's just no way to survive without that. So, um, I'm actually going to aggress one more time, because there's one more thing I forgot to tell you guys, or one, one more thing to show. Remember all those cool weapons we picked up? I haven't even looked at them yet. There's, there's that Dirk, and there's that sword. I just keep forgetting about them, because I'm, I'm pretty sure we can't equip them, but I'll aggress out of here, check that out, and then we'll end our episode. I sort of messed it up. But this is a really good level to... This is a good map to level grind on anyway, because there's a lot of monsters really close by, and they give pretty good XP, so, uh... You know, it's, it's not a bad idea, I don't think. This is a good spot for it. It's better than a lot of previous maps. Alright, so, now that we're safe again, let me just quickly go to the items. So, we have... We have the Heat Axe. Once Obrite's promoted, that's gonna help out. Uh, we've got this Luster Blade, which is probably not someone any- not- not for anyone here. Um, it's after promotion, but it's a blade like what Julian was using, so it's not gonna be terribly useful. I might just throw it in the, uh... Well, I'll either sell it or throw it in the headquarters storage. And I did also pick up this, uh, little Mithril Dirk. And again, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be after promotion. It's probably one of the weaker Mithril weapons, but, uh, it'll still be a big upgrade. So yeah, my plan is get promoted, get to level 5 or so promoted, and uh, then I can equip the white ring and stuff like that, just fine. So these characters that are already promoted, they don't have a whole lot to do, to be honest. They can make friends with people and get some weapon XP, but uh, it'll be really the, the pre-promotes that I'm, I'm leveling up specifically. Anyway, um, well, I won't end the episode here. I'll, I'll just put another cut in, I can handle it, and I'll meet you guys back for promotion party. That's fun, everyone likes promotion party, right? See you in a minute. Well, see you in probably a couple hours for me, but you guys don't have to wait. Alrighty, folks, so it's been a little while, not actually a ton of grinding to be honest, but uh, I've gotten my people to level 17 after all. Uh, it's actually pretty easy on that map, on that mump. <laughs> that map is pretty easy to get levels up on, because fighting the monks um, give you a lot of XP. In fact, I'm sure I could get to 18 or 19 on those monks, so I, I maybe should have done this a little earlier, but, uh, that was a good map for it, so you can see most of the characters got to level 17 that I'm gonna promote. Grace just got a couple levels up because I had to redo it. We've also got a lot of gold, although, as you'll see shortly, that's not really that much gold. Like, each mithril weapon is gonna cost around 10k, so it's not really that much. Um, stat-wise, nothing really changed. It's like, each level up gave us you know, around plus one attack, defense, and HP, give or take. Sometimes you miss one, sometimes you never get two as far as I can see when you're unpromoted. And then like my promoted characters are just a little bit higher up. Um, level wise or like uh, weapon level wise, you know, we've progressed a little bit. Um, I don't think we've got shells to level two for Ratchet, but we do have anchors to level one. Horst has... Mace to level 2. I think you guys saw that one, and then he's got his hatchet at level 1. It's slowly working its way up. Uh, no levels up. No weapons there. I think Sybil is level 2 for both of them now, if that didn't happen on camera. So most people are at level 2 for all their weapons, except for a couple of the newer characters. Without any further ado, let's do the fun part! So let us, uh... There's it is. Promote! So, Symbios! Look at all that! Plus 5 HP, MP, plus 5 attack! That's, like, that's a huge upgrade! I love it! Now... If I had just done this a little bit earlier, this level that I'm on right now wouldn't be that difficult. It's just... Um, I was holding it off as long as I could, and this was like the first battle where Symbios himself needed to be promoted. There was just no way to get around it. Um, but yeah, like, you get a lot of stats. Like, I'd say a level up, or a promotion right now, is probably worth three or four level ups from your unpromoted. Um, so like, that's a huge jump. Also, the, uh, notice the icons are changing of everybody. We'll go over the, uh, in-battle changes next episode, but, uh, for now we'll get these promotions and we'll have a quick look at the stats. And we'll equip some of our new weapons. Alright, so Maskerin's all wizardy now. We've got Cavaliers, Wizards. We already have our Cleric. Now pick up our Sniper. Yep, 
Yeah, you guys are gonna be excited for the next episode. I'm not gonna pre-level past level one. We're gonna start the next battle at level one promoted. And we'll see how we do. I don't think it's gonna be quite enough for Symbios. I'm probably gonna have to do a little bit more level grinding to get him to like level four or five, but we'll give it a try. And I don't wanna I don't wanna skip all of those level ups if I can help it. I'd like you guys to see them. Look at that, plus five defense for Obright. That's a, that's a good upgrade for him. I'm pretty sure his stats should average out with um, the other guy, Hurst, a fair bit. Well, his his color changed. Most of their colors have changed, honestly. Hayward looks about the same, but we'll see in battle. Time for some master monking. I got Irene to level 18 by accident because I just needed the healing and I didn't want to promote off camera. I think she actually got plus one HP when she got to level 18, so congratulations for not getting nothing at all. Sybil, definitely getting her level up. Not the hugest stats, but she does need the HP, so like, plus 5 HP for my low level, my low HP units, that's, that's pretty awesome. Eldar, please get good stats. Um, 4 attack, 3 defense. Ah, it's a step in the right direction. I still don't think Eldar is amazing, but you know, you gotta have a flyer for some of the treasure. So you gotta keep using her. Ah, that's kinda cool looking outfit there. I'm not gonna promote Khan. If I do promote Khan, I'll get him to level 17 first. And everyone else should have already been promoted. So that's it for the promotion party. You don't actually get all that many unpromoted characters in this game. Like Shining Force 2 had a lot more. Now, that's only scenario one. So like once we get to the next scenario, which isn't, well, we got two chapters left, but um, you know, there, there'll be a whole bunch of unpromoted characters again for the next the next scenario. It's a long game. Shining, Shining Force 3 is huge. So if we come down here, at the very least, we can see our uh, new walking sprites. So there's the crew. I'm not going to talk to everybody right now, but uh, I like Maskrin's new outfit. That's cool. I like the new um, the Cavaliers, the upgrade for the Knights. I think they look really good. Um, both... Um, Dan Therese and Sybil, I think, look pretty pretty awesome. We'll see if Eldar looks better in battle. Uh, purple's not terrible, so that might work out. Um, who else got upgraded? Well, we've got a Master Monk. She's still pink, though, so I don't know if that changed much. Hayward looks, honestly, about the same to me. Um, and then uh, Obright certainly changed color a little bit. So couple things. First off, Obright should be considerably better immediately. Because we're going from... Well, first off, like, we're going from the Power Axe, specifically, to the Heat Axe, which is uh, possibly better than the Revenge Mace, because the Revenge Mace was plus 10 damage from the old weapon. This one's plus 15, so, uh, booyah. Now, what else? I think I got just the knife. I think I put it away. Oh, there's also... There's a couple things to do, obviously. So let me take out the Mithril Dirk. There's only one person who can use it, so we might as well give it to Sinbios. It did have like a plus eight attack power over the old one, so may as well. And we'll just deposit the old one. Now, just for comparison's sake, we can equip the Luster Blade now, and it's pretty good. But we would start at rank, weapon rank zero. And I could eventually weapon rank blades up to level one, two, three, just like all the others. But I'm not going to bother with blades, um, so I don't know if I'm ever going to use the Luster Blade. It's just going to sort of hang out there for now. I could definitely try out the Cursed Ring now, or the Black Ring. Um, cur I still need to try out Cursed Weapons. I know I haven't, I haven't even equipped it yet, but I've got a bad history of them. From the remake of Shining Force 1 on the Game Boy Advance, they made Cursed Weapons really bad. Uh, in the original Shining Force 1, they actually weren't terrible. I remember using them a couple times, but um, I don't know if I've ever used them in Shining Force 3, because being paralyzed or taking damage or, like, taking damage when you deal damage, you know, a lot of those things, sometimes they, like, reduce a stat to, like, zero. As, like, there's some really bad things they can do. Um, was there anything else we need? Oh, the last thing I'm going to do right now is we're going to move... Well, what's Symbios' defense? So he's got 28 points in defense, which is, you know, pretty good, but the masked monks have a ton of attack power. Um, I think the idea here is if I give him the white ring, 
He'll lose out on regeneration, but he will gain a lot of base defense. And that should make it so... You know, with a 34 base defense? Like, let's just test it out quick today. You know, we need to end the episode here, but, um... Just, just to see if my chance of stealing that weapon... Like, I just want to compare the numbers here. We'll just rush off. Actually, I'm just going to put a save state here, so I don't have to... I don't have to wait to aggress this time. Uh, instead of wasting all our time. We just want to look at those masked monks. I think they've got an attack of, like, 39 or so. So they might still do 4 or 5 damage per hit, which is why I might need a couple more level ups with Symbios to really do my trick here. But, uh, so we've got 34 defense, no weapon advantage or disadvantage, they have an attack of 40. So by default they'll be doing around 6 damage per hit right now, which is a lot better than it used to be. And he might, he might have enough defense to take a couple hits, um... He only needs to hit Fial once, and then he can run away, take a couple more hits. Ah, uh, the problem is, like, there's no way to finish off the enemies in the middle. Well, at least not at the level we were at last time. Unpromoted, there was no way to kill the enemies here and rush forward. So, you know, that just isn't going to happen. But, uh, now... I'll, I'll give it a try next episode. We'll do this battle again from the beginning, next episode, with promoted characters. Um, we'll see how it goes. I might move some of the accessories around. We'll, we'll see how I feel. But we've got a couple new weapons. Uh, we're definitely stronger on average by a, a fair margin. And we can level up really quickly. Like, imagine rolling back to level 11. Well, these enemies are going to level us up super, super quick. Which is why I could get to level 6, 7, 8 promoted really quickly. And uh, I might need to do that with Symbios. We'll see. We'll see. Also, he needs to start learning some magic. And that'll be coming before too much longer. So anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the, the episode. Sorry for the... Well, the sort of cuts and stuff. I had to do some leveling up and there's just no ways, no skipping it. I actually worked out during the grinding. This is actually quite an easy battle to just win. The problem is if you want Symbios, like if you want to get the special ending, which I'll talk about later, um, I need that key from Fial and he doesn't last very long. So the only way to do that is to have a very sturdy Symbios and I, we just didn't have it before. So uh, anyway, yeah, we'll worry about that next episode. Hope you guys are excited for it. We get to see our promoted characters in battle. Oh yeah. See you guys next time and have a great day.